Good afternoon. The woman arrested for last week's alleged kidnapping turned deadly crash on I-25 is scheduled to make her first court appearance tomorrow. Today, we're learning more about that day and how it ended so tragically. Janine Hadamio was arrested Saturday, charged with murder for the deaths of Santa Fe police officer Robert Duran and retired firefighter Frank Lovato. The two were killed when police say Jaramillo lied about being kidnapped by a man armed with a knife and then led them on a wrong way chase on I-25 in a stolen car. Court documents now reveal that Lovato, who was in the pickup truck, had just avoided a head-on crash with that stolen car and the lead deputy on the chase, but could not avoid a head-on crash with Duran. Jaramillo did sideswipe another vehicle, but she was only left with a broken arm. Court documents also reveal why police thought this was a kidnapping. They say a female driver of a Chevy Malibu, who we now know to be Janine Jaramillo, asked a person in the parking lot of the Vizcaya Apartments in Santa Fe to call 911, saying a male in her passenger seat was armed and wouldn't get out of her vehicle. Police were trying to stop that supposed kidnapping when they started chasing Jaramillo. When questioned, police say Jaramillo told them the man in the passenger seat was Mark Lopez, a man she'd been dating for a few months, but couldn't provide a phone number or identifying information. She also claimed he poured gasoline over her and threatened to light her on fire. Police say there was no smell of gasoline on her clothing. And ultimately, they say DNA and information from that stolen vehicle prove she was the driver that day and the only one in that vehicle. And this story continues to develop. We'll have much more on the new details today at 4. The man accused of shooting and injuring a state police officer pled not guilty today. Caleb Elledge and Alana Martinez are accused of leading a state police officer on a chase from Edgewood to Cedillo on February 11th after an employee reported her acting suspiciously in the bathroom. The officer was able to force the car into a guardrail. That's when police say Elledge shot at that officer eight times.